I had to get my drink. All right, guys, so can you hear me? Instagram, I know Instagram guys can hear me, but Facebook guys, can you hear me? So I'm going to wait for you to put some comments in there. And hey, happy Sunday night, by the way. So uh, I'm not sure if my comments are working. That's, that's what I'm doing. That's why I'm saying, hey, put some comments in Facebook. Let me know you can hear me okay. So I just wanted to make sure because it's like I can see thumbs up and hearts and everything, but I can't see any comments. So I want to make sure my comments are working because last week some people were like, you never answered my question. I'm like, I never see it or I never saw it. So anyway, so with that, this week, tonight, we are going to talk about uh, five technology tips. Sweet. Thank you, Malcolm. Sir Malcolm, by the way. So... Um, we're going to talk about five technology. I'm going to get my mouse over here so I have it. Oh, oh, hold on. Hold on, guys. There we go. I have my mouse too far away. All right. So I want to make sure this works. Okay. Yep. That works. All right. Good. All right. Sorry. All the slapping around. Okay. Good. So we're going to talk about five. I don't know. I don't know if it's going to be five. You know, this week, to be honest, when I was saying, hey, what am I going to talk about Sunday night? I had the brainstorm. The problem was it was like 3.30 in the morning, and uh, I wrote down some notes. I'm like, oh, I'm going to talk about this on Sunday night, about technology, five technology must-haves. And it sounded great when I was half asleep, but I couldn't find that piece of paper. So anyway, can't find the paper. So uh, I'm just going to kind of go through some things that I really think that you should do to a defender. Uh, some things that you should definitely um, consider if you already have a defender or if you're if I'm building one for you, it's automatically going to have these things. So that's that. So but before I get started, I'd love to know how many of you guys are new, how many new people. And, you know, this week I didn't do a really good job of promoting this live. It's been a crazy week. I mean, it's you know, it was we got a ton of snow and then we got rain and then we had ice and. I know all excuses, but it's just been a little, a little crazy. And then uh, this week's been a wonderful week in the sense that uh, we have a lot of new Defender owners now, meaning that uh, I had a number of people contact me and say, hey, I'd love to uh, do a bespoke build. And uh, so that's been awesome. Just, uh, I don't know, it just makes me excited whenever somebody's wanting a defender when they're going to be part of the family. So that's what I mean. So how many of you guys are new? Who's new? Who's the first time you've uh, joined me on a Sunday night? That's what I'd like to know. So go ahead and tell me that. And, uh, and tell me where you're from, where are you guys from? So it's, it's pretty interesting. Uh, I've met a lot of wonderful people and I'm going to get to it guys. I'm sorry. Hey, this is, uh, Sunday night where we get to hang out and talk and have a conversation and everything, except a lot of times you guys don't talk that much, but that's fine. So um, I've met people from Australia, Nigeria, um, all through the U.S., all through Canada. Uh, all, yeah, I said, did I say Australia? Well, Australia. So it, it's been interesting. It's been really cool. Of, uh, I got to put my glasses on. Toronto, love Toronto. Toronto's not too far for me. So uh, about seven hours since I am in uh, upstate New York. I know it's so funny when people say upstate New York. What exactly is upstate? Is that Buffalo or is that Albany? And I'm near Albany. So there you go. Awesome. So we got some new people tonight. Technology. So we're going to talk about, but before I get into the technology, um, Here's my plan. I, I'm going to try. I'm going to try my best this week. I am. I promise I'm going to try, but I'm going to try to uh, get the website ready for you guys to sign up for the Rovers in the Woods. Notice I didn't say Rovers and Gents in the Woods. I don't need the grief, but uh, I kind of like that name, Rovers and Gents in the Woods, you know, but anyway. Um, but then people are going, can I bring my wife? And that's like, oh, if you must, no, I'm just teasing joke. All right. Rovers in the woods, June 18th through the 20th. Again, Rovers in the woods, 
And you, well, let me give you some clarification here. But anyway, June 18th through the 20th is when we're going to do it here in Sharon Springs, New York. So go ahead and mark your calendar. Um, get off work if you have to work the weekend or, you know, take off on uh Take off on Friday so you can leave Thursday afternoon and get here on Friday because it's uh, June 18th through the 20th, which is a Friday, Saturday, Sunday. And uh, come camp out. Come, you know, we've got the farm. We've got all this beautiful land, the rolling hills, the the horses, the deer, the coyote, um, the bears. Um, I haven't seen any bears, but I've seen what bears leave behind. And uh, one of my friends, Vincent, he said, uh, I got out of my tent uh, when he was here in October. I got out of my tent and uh, I was a bear. So anyway, but don't worry. They're, they're scared of you. So <laughs> just don't worry about the bears. But anyway, June 18th through the 20th, you do not have to have a Land Rover. You do not have to have a Range Rover. You don't even have to have a four-wheel drive. Just come and you've got choices. You can camp out if you choose. We've got plenty of places to camp out, pitch a tent, uh, bring a pole behind RV. Just if you bring a, a big RV, you know, the kind that's big, whatever they're called, uh, you're probably going to have some problems because it will be a little wet. You'll, you won't be able to pull off the blacktop. So you're going to have to be in the, the grass, the dirt and all that stuff. But anyway, so take off work, put it on your calendar. If you do not want to camp out, if you're the type that says, oh, I don't like to camp out, then find a hotel. There's the American Hotel that's in Sharon Springs, New York. Again, the American Hotel in Sharon Springs, New York. Then uh, Cooperstown's really close. Cooperstown's about uh, 14, 15 miles away. And there's some really nice hotels there. There's the, but anyway. Just Cooperstown, New York, Sharon Springs, New York, get your hotel. Go ahead and book it now, but we are going to have it. I'm going to open up the registration here pretty quick. And we will have to limit the number of people that come. And the reason that we have to limit the number of people, I'm not talking about COVID and all that stuff, but it's just being able to make it manageable. So while you're here, some things that we'll do for June 18th through the 20th, is we have the five stand sporting clays. So we've got that. I have shotguns here if you are flying and don't want to bring a shotgun. Um, we have ax throwing, we have archery, we have the horses. Uh, we're going to have yoga in the mornings, by the way. So when you get up in the morning, we'll do our yoga, do our stretches. And I say we, <laughs> you guys will do it. Uh, I know this looks like a yoga body to you. But it's not. All right. So anyway, June 18th through the 20th, mark your calendar. All right. So there. And uh, bring your family. Well, anyway. Yeah, bring, bring the family. But <laughs> I was just, start, I was, what I was visualizing was all these dogs running around. And, uh, but anyway. So what we will do, though, is we will uh, actually... Uh, if you don't have a four-wheel drive, then you'll be hopping in the four-wheel drive with someone else because we will drive some off-road trails, um, challenging ones and not so challenging ones, but it's great for bird watching and all that. So I know I went back into it. But anyway, it's a lot of fun. Check it out on the website. All right. So technology. Let's talk about some technology in a Land Rover Defender and what you need. Um, the first thing you need in a Land Rover Defender, because it's got an uncanny characteristic to a Ford when it comes to, and a Dodge. Yeah, Ford and Dodge. You guys got any idea what I'm talking about when I'm talking about what is lacking in a Ford or a Dodge? At least maybe the newest ones aren't so bad, but I just know my Dodge Ram pickup truck that's not that old. It's about three or four years old. The headlights are like candles. So a Land Rover Defender headlights are very dim, extremely dim. So LED headlights are a must for a Land Rover Defender. And of course, that's what we do to all of ours. I mean, you'll see the LED headlights. We do the LED taillights, the, you know, LED stoplights, LED marker lights, LED turn signals, LED in, uh, courtesy light, interior light. So, uh, 
Oh, guess what? That's pretty cool. Ken's title showed up today. So Ken was the, the is the guy that actually has the the was uh, Santorini. I always get it confused between uh, Portofino. Oh my gosh, really? I get it confused between Portof. No, is it Santorini? Par it's Portofino. I don't know. It's red. It's a beautiful red. D ninety. So. So title showed up. New York State took a while to get that done. All right. So um, I was checking something there. All right, good. <laughs> Lost my train of thought. So headlights are a must. LED headlights, LED all of the way around. Portofino. Thank you, Ken. Yeah, Portofino. <laughs> you think I would know? There's Portofino red. There's Portofino blue. I don't know why they do that, but there is. Okay. LED headlights, LED lights all the way around. That's the number one thing that you want to do for a Defender. Number one, because you have to be able to see at night unless you're not planning on driving at night. The second thing that you want to do to a Land Rover Defender, because I will tell you, driving an original Land Rover Defender is fun. It's very fun, but it's not very uh, precise. It's not very accurate when it comes to the steering or the body roll. And I already talked about this before, but I just think it's important to mention it again. And it's not that it's technology, um, but I, well, I don't know, is it? Well, yeah, kind of, not, not really, but anyway, sway bars. So you definitely want to get sway bars in the front and rear. That's not technology. And actually, I wasn't even going to talk about that popped in my head. The phone rang and it messed me up. So. There you go. The next thing that you want to do to your Land Rover Defender, by the way, I'm gonna make this kind of short tonight because I am gonna go into the house and get out of the garage and spend some time with Christy and Leo and Lucy and I might even fix dinner tonight. Surprise, surprise. So, um, and I don't know if you guys realize this, I get, the ask, I get asked this question all the time. Apple CarPlay, can I do Apple CarPlay? And the answer quite simply is yes, you can. But I think a lot of you guys never really got into the stereo and the audio and the hi-fi and changing the radios out in your car back in the day, meaning years ago, that we got so spoiled with the when we buy a car that that stereo, that head unit is automatically built in that we don't realize that you can put some crazy technology into a Defender by installing something like this all right so this is a pioneer it's called a double din so again double din d-i-n is what it is and this is apple carplay it's a touch screen but it's apple carplay it's android carplay or android car so it's and android auto sorry so android auto it is Spotify, it is Bluetooth, it is hands-free calling. Um, it will actually read your voicemails to you and you can respond to the mic that you mount to the headliner or wherever you wanna mount that mic. It has Alexa built into it. So it has a lot of additional, it just has everything that you would want when it comes to technology. And again, it's a touch screen and you see how big the screen is. It's a nice big screen, full color and all that. And then, but you can see all the ports on, or the, well, you don't really see all the ports, but there is a number of ports on here that uh, basically you put the plugs on there and it runs all kinds of stuff. So what it also is, and what I mean, it runs all kinds of stuff. For example, your subwoofer, uh, your, you would, you know, you run your speaker wires into your amplifier and then, I mean, you don't need an amplifier, but you can do it and it's pretty cool to do. But anyway, backup camera. So it's also your backup camera. You can do more than one camera. Uh, this unit will actually do two cameras. Um, I wouldn't recommend two cameras, just do the one camera is what I would do. The second camera can be one that's like on the side of the Defender. So when you're parking, you can see the curb and all that. But it's a defender. So what if you scrape the the curb a little bit? Not a big deal. So 
That is the next piece of technology that I would say put into your Defender um, for the sake of if you like Apple CarPlay and all that. I mean, you'll see a lot of my trucks that I don't have a stereo in there. And it's just, I get in it and I drive and I go and take pictures and I'm just not really thinking about the noise, but I'm, I'm like a weirdo. Let's just be honest. Understand that early on that I'm, I'm just a little wacky. I'm, I don't have, I mean, I have a lot of friends that have, you know, a TV almost in every room. I have one TV in the house and that's it. And there's oftentimes I wish it, wish that I didn't have any TVs in the house because it's just to waste the time it's a time suck it's just it's mind numbing so but i know but now audio i i do like good music and i do like good audio but when i yeah this isn't about me but anyway so there you go so apple carplay that's how easy it is with the unit uh you can run multiple speakers you can run you know 8 10 12 speakers or four speakers whatever you want on that so that's your other piece of technology. The next piece of technology in a Defender that I would recommend, but this depends on where you live. So for where I live, where there's snow, a lot of snow and ice and all that, um, why I say that? I mean, even if you live somewhere like in a beachy, warm area, if you get your windshield that actually frost up or fogs up, whether it's from humidity or whatever, a heated windscreen, and a windscreen is a windshield, but a heated windscreen, heated windshield is a really good piece of tech to have on your Defender. And it's easy. I mean, there's just wires that run through the windshield. Uh, heated windshield is not really that much more money than a standard windshield. And the wires are so small that you don't even really see them. So, Heated windshield, I say, yeah, it's a great add-on to have because you flip the switch. So, you know, you get up in the morning and if it's kind of misty out, flip the switch and it heats up the windshield and it's gone. For here, it's great because I flip the switch, the snow, the ice, everything just falls off and it's a great thing. And then your windshield wipers are less prone to freezing. Again, that's what happens here. So, heated windshield is awesome. Um heated seats. I have to have my heated seats. And heated seats are an easy option. All of my builds come with heated seats in the front, not in the rear. I can add them in the rear, but the driver and the passenger gets a heated seat. And I personally like heated seats all year round pretty much. And uh, I didn't used to. Air conditioned seats, I'm not so used to though. I'm kind of, some of my sports cars and my other cars have the air conditioned seats and I don't know, it just gives me a weird sensation in the seat of my pants. So I can't believe I just said that. All right. Uh, next thing. This isn't really a technology guys. And I talked about this earlier on Instagram, but it's just really cool to have. Cause I think part of the defender, the defender is a conversation piece to start out in the first place. It really is everywhere you go. People are going to stop you. They're, they're, you know, going to want to tell you a story about how they knew someone had a Defender or they're going to think it's a discovery and they're going to tell you stories and you're going to go, OK, great. You don't want to correct them and tell them, no, no, it's not a discovery. It's a Defender because it just makes for a longer conversation unless you want that long conversation. But after you're standing at the gas station 30 minutes longer than you wanted to, then maybe not. So conversation piece when your buddies are with you and they're like, oh, that's so cool. There's a few different companies that are out there that make something really cool. And I don't know why I find this so cool, but here you go, Instagram. Smith Gages is, uh, let me see, it's is not focusing. Let's get it to focus. Ah, well, anyway, you get the point. So... I just love the analog clock. I don't know what it is. And uh, there's a couple of them on eBay that are uh, Omegas. And I mean, it's an Omega. That's James Bond, right? But the thing is with the Omega clock, and I'm going so, so far back from away from technology here, but the Omega, the way it's designed is it sits in the dash. This is 52 millimeter, by the way, but it sits in the dash and it's a seven day clock. So every seven days, you gotta grab that clock, pull it out, 
pop the case off the back and wind it up. <laughs> yeah, yeah, really cool. But anyway, so, all right, all right. Maybe it's not so cool. I thought it was cool, but I think you need an analog clock in there. I mean, it's just, it's like, it's a must have. Yeah, it, it's, it really is. It's a must have. All right. So there you go. The next thing. And uh, I'm going to say this, but um, let me see. I'm a Defender fan. Uh, can you give me a model car, model Defender? Oh. You know, I did see some at the grocery store recently. I did. It was so funny. I mean, side note, squirrel. All right, so side note, I'm at the grocery store pushing the cart around. This was before COVID. Now with COVID, I try to stay from the grocery store. I start to have these like weird, oh, I can't breathe. But anyway, <laughs> um, so I, I talk Christy in to go and I just get really sweet, start cleaning the kitchen and everything else. Then she feels sorry for me. Yeah. <laughs> So anyway, I'm pushing my cart around and they had two white Defender D110s in the little model car place, you know, where they have it on the side shelf on the end cap. And I was like, oh, that's pretty cool. I'm going to get those. I know some people I'm going to send it to. I'm, I'll get that on the way back. There was people standing in the way waiting to try to get some coffee or something. It was right there. So I pushed on. I went through, went through, did, 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 did my shop. And I came back like 30 minutes later, came back up to get the two white D110 models and they were both gone. So not only do they sell really well in, you know, full size, but they sell really well in models too, apparently. So anyway, all right. So the technology, uh, next part of technology squirrel is uh, brakes. Uh, if you have a Defender, if you've bought one, chances are the brakes have not been redone. And it depends on what year it is. You could have drums in the back and disc in the front but the brakes just don't work extremely well. So I say definitely upgrade the brakes. And you have a couple different options. I mean, you can upgrade, go to the full, you know, disc all the way around. And it's not that costly to do it, but don't be cheap because we're talking about stopping here, okay? So just do it, just upgrade your brakes. Um, that would be a level one where you do four wheel disc all the way around and you have better calipers, meaning bigger, bigger brake pads, and that will suffice. But we decided it was worth the investment. So we did invest a lot of money into coming up with a brake design that is a serious brake design and i've had some people go oh it's for looks no it's not it really does seriously stop you all right part of it's for looks let's be honest it's because they're big red calipers but they're billet aluminum they're big there's a uh, six piston or six pot in the front four piston four pot in the rear and uh, it really makes a huge difference all right so brakes um the next thing I hear something running, but anyway. The next thing is understanding about the Defender. So guess what? I got something for you guys. Here it is. Are you ready? You will be amazed how many books there are that are available on Amazon about Defenders. So if you're thinking about buying, def uh, buying a Defender, you're thinking you want to get one because you really love the looks of them, do some homework, do some reading, understand what a Defender is and what it's not. And a Defender, quite honestly, was built as a farmer's truck. They built it for farmers to use on the farm. So go to, go to Amazon, search for Land Rover Defender. You're going to see a lot of different books. And uh, I like this book. You... You know why I like this book so much, guys? Do you, any idea? I mean, uh, guess, 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 guess. Any idea? That's right, Richard. Less is more. Come on, guys. I'm waiting for you to guess. Why do I like this book so much? So. All right. I think there's a delay because I'm not hearing from you guys. I'll tell you why I like the book. It's got a lot of pictures. Thank you, Robin. Robin, thank you. Yes. Why? Thank you. Yeah. A lot of photos. That's right, Michael. Yeah, there is a delay. Thank you, Malcolm. 
That's right, a lot of pictures. Uh, whoa, what was that? You guys remember the old pinup art and everything? So here you go. Yeah, oh well, so. All right, there's that. All right, um, that's really it about technology. There's really nothing else that you need to know about technology, it's all good. So uh, you see how I did that for you guys. But I'm gonna show you two more things. You do not need these. Please, please, <laughs> I'm building a defender for you. If, I, if you're one of my clients, don't call me and go, can we add this? Please don't, please don't. And the reason that I say that, uh, uh, I'm reading this. Are you going to do domestic U.S. commissions? Yes, I will talk about, yeah, uh, I'll talk about the one tens behind me. All right, <laughs> but I'm going to show you a couple more things. And the reason that I say this, don't call me and say you want this. If you seriously, if you do, do send me a message, tell me you do, and we'll do the best to get it. It's just a lot of the things that we are doing to the defenders, the, the bespoke process, is we're finding um, blokes and sheds. That's what we're doing. We find, let me say that again in case you didn't hear me, blokes in sheds, B-L-O-K-E-S in sheds. In other words, we're finding, I know that's funny. It's, anyway, uh, we find guys that are very talented and to make special parts for us. And I will tell you, that's what I love about the Defender is it's all hand built. And I get people on Facebook and Instagram, oh my God, $108,000. I wouldn't take a $108,000 or $180,000 off-road. Nobody in their right mind would. Well, whatever. Um, it put it all into perspective. Here's the thing. And then people are, oh, that's so expensive. That's ridiculous. That's stupid. These things, these trucks, these defenders, the parts on them, very few of the parts that are on these are being mass produced. I mean, granted, the, a lot of the engine uh, parts and everything are being mass produced, like the belts and everything else. But even the hoses that we put on these defenders are individuals that are doing these hoses, that they're manufacturing and creating these hoses. But let me show you this. I know, I got into a soapbox there. Sorry, guys. But it's all about when you build a Defender, in my opinion, this is my opinion, the world according to Paul when it comes to Defenders. But it's also that way about fashion. It's about that way with everything. And what I'm talking about is attention to detail. It's the little things. If, if you look at the post that I just did about an hour ago of Enzo, and I did a side shot where you could really see the hinge. Um, and that's what I was kind of showing you was the hinge. But it's these little things. It's those little details that make the entire build what it is. And it's also matching all of those little details so everything flows and everything goes together correctly. So, and where I was joking about if you're a client, don't call me asking for this. You, no, you definitely can't. It's just, there's a long, long delay. And I, I get people that ask me, well, what's my build going to be done? And I'm like, I don't know. I really want it done now, but I don't know. I mean, because all this COVID craziness. So we had uh, one of the builds that we just did, which was the, the blue, the real light blue soft top with the tan top. And we put so much stuff in that. It's got so many options. It's just so many little details that's made that truck what it is. And this is one of them right here. So if you look at the mirror arms here, look at the detail in this mirror arm. Look at the, uh, the aluminum and how perfect, perfect it is and how it's designed. It's just so... You don't see this on a mass produced car. This was hand done and it's billet aluminum. 
and you notice the wires hanging out of it, it has an LED light in the bottom. So it's actually a puddle light. So a puddle light, what that is, is when you hit the remote on your, you know, on your key fob to unlock your defender, it will automatically turn on this LED light that shines beside the door so you can make sure you don't step in a puddle. Puddle lights. And the little puddle LED light has a little H logo in it <laughs> for Helderberg. But anyway, it's the attention to detail. So when you do something like this, though, you complicate everything. And, uh, and what I mean by that is, okay, you got to get somebody to do this, but now this could break your supply chain for a bit because somebody has COVID or whatever. They, they get backed up, whatever it might be. But then when you get this, now you have to wire it. But then be able to make it work, now you have to do remote, remote door locks or you have to do an alarm system. So you're, you're stacking more and more stuff onto that build. But there's a fine point of... How do you keep the build where it's really reliable? And what I mean by that, and that's the beauty of the Defenders, is they don't have a computer. They don't have all the, the extra stress that a Land Rover Discovery or a Range Rover has, and that's why they're so dependable, because they don't have the computer. So there's a fine line, is what I'm saying. But I just, I love these. I love the finish of them. We have them in black, we have them in gray, and we have them in silver. So anyway really cool and then we got them with the puddle lights or without the puddle lights but it's attention to detail and this complements the hinges you know the door hinges so well here's another thing about really technology it's not really tech it's safety and you'll notice or maybe you won't notice uh it's subtle that the door hinges that we use um handmade billet aluminum but then we use brass washers in there for a little pop of color but also for the durability so you'll notice that but the mirror those are mirror arms by the way so those are mirror arms and with these mirror arms you can also wire them one more wire through here not a big deal um to do um sorry i had a brain fart but anyway this wire that's right here is for the actual mirror and uh I'm reading all these comments, sorry. Heated mirrors, let's just say it really simple. So this is for the heated mirrors, yes, heated mirrors. And people thought the Defenders didn't have anything in them. But, uh, they didn't originally, so there's that. Here's the next one, you guys. All right, anybody know what this is? Who knows what this is? Anybody, 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 anybody. I know there's a delay, so I'm, I'm like delaying here. Let me have my seltzer so I can burp on you guys. Not really, I'm just teasing, but oops, excuse me. It's a camera. So yes, Richard, you got it right. It is a camera. So backup cameras, it is a harness. This is true, harness, it's camera. It's a backup camera is what it is. And then, anybody know what this is? Well, I'm gonna make it easy. LED lighting. This is a license plate light is what this is. And then you your camera, of course you have to feed the wires through and all that stuff, but that's what happens. So this makes it really nice, really simple, really clean install. So it's a license plate light in billet aluminum that's got a really nice feel to it. And it matches the hinges, it matches the, the mirror arms, it matches everything. And um, there's your camera. So now you don't have this big camera that's sticking off of the roof that's pointed down. It's just a nice, clean install that who would have known? So that's what it is. The 
the license plate light and uh, there is there's polished aluminum there's gray and there's black so so there you go so just a couple little technology type deals that you can do that does not push the boundary in the sense of making the vehicle unreliable or having problems with it it's just extra little things that makes it so nice. So when you're on Instagram and Facebook and you're looking at these different builds or you're considering on buying a truck or whatever it is, start pinching and zooming and looking at the pictures and, and looking at how the stitching's done on the dash and how the stitching's done on the seats and, and how everything is put together because you have to be careful. You want to be, you want to build a defender that's timeless. So when you get five years down the road, or 10, it still looks great that, you know, I see a lot of uh, defenders that are coming out now and they have that uh, charging pad that's built into the console, you know, where you have the wireless charging, where you set your phone on it and it charges your phone by the, just laying there. I wouldn't do that. And I've had some people do that and say, uh, Oh, can you put that in? I'm like, oh, I'd really rather not. And, uh, and the reason that I'd really rather not is because, when you get five years down the road, you don't want it looking dated. I mean, it's kind of like where you get into a really cool looking Mercedes and you pop the console open and it's got the little StarTech phone in the center console and you're like, man, this thing's only five years old. It's got a StarTech phone. So you want to keep it timeless. And that goes for everything. Not only the, the things, the components you're putting on, but the way that the seats that you put in and even the paint job that you do is all important to make it timeless. So. There was something else I was going to talk about. What was it? Um, oh, the hinges. If you look at my hinges, you'll notice that we have what's called safety hinges. The, the bolts that are in the hinges are a specific type of a safety bolt that it takes a special tool to get them in and out. Because what happens is, uh, you know, in England, in the UK, Land Rover Defender is like the number one stolen most vehicle, number one most popular vehicle to steal. And around 75% of them are never recovered. And, um, oh, I'm going to show you one more thing. Yeah, the technology. Can you guys just hold on for a half sec while I go get it? Okay, all right, all right. No comments about the red pants, all right? I already had enough about the red pants. Okay, I can't believe I forgot this. Okay, all right. Um, um, I got somebody's hat on my table. I'm not sure whose hat, but anyway, okay. Matthew, what's up, Matthew? All right, you know what I said about blokes in sheds? <laughs> you guys are funny. All right, stop it. Stop it! All right. Blokes in sheds. So, um, bloke in a shed made this wire, but this is the little magic piece here. Ooh, any idea what this is, guys? Oh, let me hold it still. All right, there we go. All right, there, there it is. All right, any idea what this is? Any idea? Feel like Jeopardy. This is like the Jeopardy. Is is that the show? But anyway, anyway, all right. So what this little module is, and what this would actually do the relay, 
This hooks into your defender. Steve is a cheater, so I'm not even going to show because Steve knows what this is because we talked about this for his, his build, his truck. It's not a microphone. Good guess, Richard. It's what this does is this has a battery mounted inside of it and it's wired into the Defender. And what it will do is it will give you the GPS location of your Defender. So in other words, you get your phone out and on your phone, you can pull it up and you can say, where is my Defender? So if you lose it in the parking lot, you can find out where your Defender is. If somebody steals it, you can find out where they're partying with your Defender. It will also tell you all kinds of things every time your Defender is started, if the battery's low, if your Defender's being moved. It's kind of like a low jack. Yes, kind of like a low jack. But it's called a Defender. That's what this is called, a Defender. For your Defender. And it talks to your iPhone or your Droid, and it will track your Defender regardless of where it is anywhere in the world is what it is. So it's sending out a cell signal, tracking your Defender all the time. So these are all little things that can be put into a Defender to give it the right amount of technology without giving it too much technology and things to start breaking down. And I mean, who wants an alarm where it sits there and nobody pays attention to the alarm? So, so that's what that is. Really cool. But it's... Um, it's just cool and it attracts your truck, your Defender. That's what it does. So just a few little part of gadget. Um, the answer to where you put it is you would, uh, you put it where nobody would really see it. Um, you put it up under the dash. I mean, it's black, it's easy to hide, but yeah, you put it where no one would see it, but you know where it's at. The battery in it will last a number of years. And uh, so you just hide it. That's all you do. And then it also has a disabler too. So if somebody's driving your Defender, you can pop, you know, with your phone, shut it down and it will shut the truck down. So anyway, uh, this is all important when it comes to the UK because they really steal the Defenders. And yes, you have cell phone service just for this unit, but it's part of the package that you pay that is around $300 a year to be able to have this service. And it's, so it's kind of like a Sirius XM type deal where you pay your monthly fee, you know, you pay your fee and then it, it tracks. So that's what it is. So, so now your defender's costing you more money, $300 for this to turn on the service. You got your Sirius XM, all that. But anyway, whole other side note. All right, guys, any questions? I know you guys were asking some questions and uh, I was missing them, missing them, so I apologize. But it is uh, 6.58. This is going to be a record uh, Sunday Night Live if you guys don't have questions. And going once, any questions? Any questions? All right. Um, the device itself, uh, the Defender Defender, is... Uh, I think it's a few hundred dollars for the stuff. Um, Somebody says, my trucks are always so clean. No, they're really not, but thank you. Um, what do I do? Um, why no winches? All right, good. Uh, what do I do? I am a business consultant, so I work with businesses um, through the U.S. and Canada, and I help them on their sales and their marketing. That's what I do. I own an ad agency, so there you go. Um, so that's that. That's what I do. The next question is, why no winches? Um, we've got some builds that we've done that actually have winches. Me, personally, I don't have any winches. I don't really go four-wheeling and all that. My trucks are daily drivers. And um, <laughs> yes. Uh, oh, let me see. Uh, my, Insta my Instagram's starting to die, guys. My phone. I've been using it all day. Um, so there. Winches. Uh, we've done some builds with winches. I just, I don't have a need for them. 
for my own. But so other than that, but uh, we're doing one with a, uh, I forget which one. We're doing something really special. Okay, great. Um, what would it cost for a renovated plane 110? Uh, 110 would start at around $135,000, $140,000. Um, are my trucks polished or ceramic coated? They're polished and some of them are ceramic coated. Like my double cab is ceramic coated and uh, this one behind me is just, is the paint. It's just a really good paint job. Uh, it's technology, but can you speak about the Marshall speaker in the middle? Yes, I can. Sorry, you're probably saying, where you go? I thought you were going to talk about it. Why'd you leave me? Marshall. So this um, is a different type of Marshall speaker. This is not the type of Marshall speaker that's in the double cab but it's pretty close to it is what it is. So this is a Bluetooth speaker that has a battery in it. Uh, the one in the double cab, that's exactly what it is. And it does have some pretty decent bass on it. Um, I wish I had my other phone with me, I could play it. Uh, bass is okay. And it doesn't really add, I mean, it has bass, but what it is is it's actually your audio system. It's a standalone audio system. So when you do the Marshall speaker, you don't have the, you know, the touch screen in the center on the center dash. It's like do the touch screen or do this. It's like an either or scenario. So I did it on the double cab. I mean, you could do both. There's no reason you couldn't. But uh, on the double cab, that one's more of a gentleman's cruiser. Uh, that's a super rare truck. And I just wanted to keep that whole look and feel with the Marshall speaker. And I was out in the garage playing late one night and I was like, oh, let's cut up the center cubby and put that speaker in. So that's what it is. So I have AC power in the double cab and run the Marshall speaker and it sounds pretty good. It does, but I have everything, um, you know, my iPhone. So I have Spotify, I have my Siri, uh, so I can, Whatever I'm, that's what I do. Whenever I listen to something, it's always in Spotify anyway. So that's what I do. So yeah, nope, not an extra speaker. Uh, speakers, you know, that's what I should talk about next. Well, what do you guys want me to talk about next week? Why don't, we, why don't you do that? Why don't you tell me what would be helpful for you? What's a topic that I could cover next week? And uh, <laughs> yeah, I'm pushing you guys for ideas so I don't have to keep up coming, coming up with them. So anyway, um. So give me a topic that I can talk about for you guys, something that would be helpful, beneficial. And uh, I'll put that on the calendar since I don't know what I'm talking about next week. Uh, <laughs> all right, so he says water. All right, uh, we could talk about water. Here we go. Um, what, what can I talk about next week? Kind of tell me, tell me, tell me. Give me some ideas. And I know there's a delay as I come. I feel like I'm in a Bruce Lee movie sometimes. So anyway. Do, 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 do. Sound system speakers with the sound dampening. Oh, another one. Speakers, sound, etc. I'm a music dude. All right, dude. Uh, 200 TDI, 200 and 300 TDI improvements. That's my suggestion. Tires and winches. We got some uh, winch people in the house. There you go. Uh, tires, yeah. The restoration process. Okay, good, good. Yeah. And I don't ever want this to be a sales pitch, guys. I, I, I want this to be informative for you guys. So please don't ever take it at that. Uh, more horsepower with reliability. Okay, good. Um, you know, I hear that a lot about the Defenders, reliability, and they are super reliable. I just, they have such a black cloud over them because of the name Land Rover. And because uh, the Discovery and the Range Rovers. So, I mean, they've got little finicky things like windshield wipers won't go to the resting position sometimes. And then all of a sudden they go back to the resting position. I, I don't know. The doors don't shut all the way sometimes. And all of a sudden the doors are shutting fine. So anyway, stuff like that. All right. <clears throat> How do you select... Uh, Ties, can you install a factory PTO winch? Okay, good. That would be a good topic to come up with. Um, we've been using the Warn Platinum 
yeah, was it Warren Platinum Xeon is what we've been doing, like the 8,000 pound engine modifications, upgrades. Okay, great. All right, good. So next week, why don't we do this? Why don't we talk about, um, why don't we talk about audio systems? I'll give you guys a good, better, and best possibly of audio. And, uh, and that's what we can talk about next week. So why don't we do that? All right. Can you talk about uh, driver's room? I'm 6'1 and about 295 pounds. I almost bought a D90 in 1994 before they stopped selling them here. I am also looking at a Mercedes G63. Are the interiors comparable? Um, driver room, when a driver's in there, if, if you're a, a big guy, winning winner, chicken dinner, uh, if you're a big guy, you are going to be a little tight. And that's why you see a lot of the Defender drivers doing this, because that's how you get your extra room is your arm up on the window with the window rolled down. So it is a little tight and narrow in there. It's easy enough to get the seat back. It's just a seat extension rails is all it is to get the seat back. So you have plenty of room if you're tall. Um, but the door will be a little tight. So other than that. Um, so there you go. I hope that helps. All right. Hi-fi, audio, sound deadening next week. That's what we're going to talk about. Guys, have a wonderful evening. Yes, I am going to escape out of here now. I have to go eat. I'm hungry. I'm always hungry. I know it looks like it. This girlish figure. That's right. I didn't get this girlish figure drinking water. All right. Thank you, guys. So I'm going to say goodbye to my Facebook friends. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Have a wonderful evening. 